trademarks are owned by the Knot Company. SPA used under license. The Jubal Show on demand. It's time. War of the Roses. Only on the Jubal Show. Joe is on the phone today for War of the Roses to catch a cheater, and Joe thinks that his boyfriend, Durgan, might be cheating on him. What's up, Joe? How are you? I'm all right. How are you guys? Not too bad, man. Mm -hmm. Sorry you have to be on the show like this, but why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Okay, so, like, me and my boyfriend, we've been together for, like, two, two and a half years. Mm Mm-hmm. And we live together, like, we've been living together for a while now, and I just recently noticed that, like, our lube has been, like, really going down a lot, and we haven't been, like, really, you know, busy in a while, because my schedule's been busy, so we haven't been, like, seeing each other a lot and, like, hooking up or whatever, and I know he doesn't use it for anything else. Like, I, I've known him for a, a long time, so I know right. he doesn't use it for anything else. You guys haven't had any squeaky so, doors? That's the force on doors, like WD-40. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, not at all. Okay. So, so when I asked him, and this is the thing, when I asked him about it, he said, oh, it might have spilled. Mm. Spilled? And I'm like, okay, that's suspect. Like, why, how does it spill? It's like a bottle. Like, it's not... It has a cap on it. Yeah. Like, okay. if, if it's not if it's not open, it's not gonna just spill. Like, <laughs> like that doesn't make any sense. Uh-huh. And then to add like fuel to the fire or whatever, I kind of noticed him texting one of my best friends, <gasps> like one of my really good friends, and like they were, and then they're not like friends really. Like they don't really, they don't have a lot of comment. They don't really talk like that. And they were texting, and I love, I love this friend to death. Like he's great, but he's kind of like a slut. Oh. <laughs> and uh, we all have those friends. I'm usually the friend. Yeah, so I'm like, okay, why are you texting this dude? And then they make it even more suspect when I confronted my friend. I'm like, hey, why are you texting like my my man? Like, what's going on? And he was like, oh, it's a secret. What? Yeah, that's what he said. And I'm like, okay, well, that's not what I want to hear. I want to hear that you have a secret. Did you press on that at all? Yeah. No, I kind of, like, I was like, okay. I just didn't want to, I wanted to let it alone because I could see he was, like, aggravated about it. But in the back of my head, I'm like, what are you talking, like, why do you have a secret? Like, this is weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just thought it was weird. So here we are. Okay. No, that is weird, in yeah, my opinion. That is. Um, and, and have you ever suspected him of cheating before? Not, re- no, not really. Like, everything just, like, it's been, like, the last few weeks have just been, like, kind of, like, weird. Like, he's been acting different and, like, being secretive about stuff. So now mm. it's, like, it's, like, a lot of red flags. So it's, like, all right. But that's just recent, like, the last, like, two or three weeks. Mm. Okay. Mm. All right, well, let's see if we can find out if he is cheating or not. Um, what's a good way you think that we could set him up? Yeah, so this is, like, this gay-owned, like, adult shop that mm. we go to frequently. So, like, if they called, like, oh, you want, like, a gift bag or whatever or something like that, that I think that would work because you'd have to give it to somebody who's, like, romantically oh, yeah. involved with, you know? Okay, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, we can gotcha. do that. We can call from there and say that we've got uh, a love basket. Oof. You know, with all kinds of yeah, love stuff in a like love that. basket. Yeah, a love basket. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, um, and who does he want to send it to? Yeah, I think that would work. Okay, we'll all see right. if he says you or somebody else. All right, we'll play a song, come back, and get you War of the Roses to Catch a Cheater next. Right in the middle of War of the Roses to Catch a Cheater, if you're just joining us, Joe is on the phone, and Joe thinks that his boyfriend, Durgan, might be cheating on him. And uh-huh. why, why does he think that? Because he's noticed that they are running low on certain supplies <laughs> that they use when they're having adult time. Yeah, <laughs> when they're in the bedroom. Adult time supplies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And they haven't been really having a lot of fun in the bedroom lately. So Joe doesn't understand why that stuff is running low. And he thinks that maybe Durgan is using it with someone else. So we're about to call from the shop where they buy that stuff because Durgan has his phone number registered with them there. We'll offer him a love basket with all kinds of fun stuff in it and see if he sends that to Joe or if he sends it to someone else. And then we'll know if he's cheating or not. All right, Joe, are you ready for us to call him? Uh, yeah, let's do it. All right, all right. I'm going to dial the food log right now. Right now. The name of the place was right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Here we go. Hello? Hey, this is Coy calling from I was looking for Durgan. Oh, uh, yeah, this is Durgan. I was... I was 
was just there yesterday. How are you guys? Oh, <laughs> that's cool. I wasn't working yesterday. Um, I don't... Wait, 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 wait. Why were you there yesterday? Oh. Excuse me? Who? What? Sorry, Durgan. This is actually the Jubal show. I didn't mm -hmm. get to get to the other stuff, but my name is Jubal. It's a radio show. My name's Victoria from that same radio show. I'm Christian Grace Snow, also from the same radio show. And your boyfriend Joe's on the line. We do a segment called War of the Roses to Catch a Cheater. And Joe, you were supposed to wait till I got a name out of it. I was like, they just jump right in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't wait because when I heard that, I was thinking, like, why the f were you at yesterday? Like, that doesn't make any sense. You didn't tell me that. Uh, it's a surprise. I didn't tell you because it's a surprise. What? Why, did, why are we on the radio right now? I don't understand. What's going on? Okay, there's too many surprises lately. Like, w w first you say that you spilled the lube. Now you're texting one of my friends and you're saying that y'all have a surprise together. Like, what? What is the surprise? Like, this is this is like really suspect. Durgan, I'll explain real quick. We do a segment on our show called War of the Roses to Catch a Cheater, where we try to find out if somebody's cheating. And Joe obviously has some suspicions. That's why we are on the phone. Yeah. Oh my God, you're doing it again. I. I, we've been through this. Why are you always doing this? We, we're, I'm trying to communicate with you. I'm trying to be honest. We. Oh, this is every time you do this. Honest about what though? Like you, you're keeping mad secrets, and like that's that's not what we do. We're not supposed to be keeping secrets. So I don't understand like why I'm the bad guy for wondering what this big mystery is. Like that. It's so. It's like everything you're doing is just weird. Everything's like red flags. Like I don't know why I wouldn't be suspicious. Like. You're talking on the phone with people you don't normally talk to. Lube is missing. You're going to you're going to all the time. Like it doesn't make any sense. It's the missing lube for me. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Yeah. Because I've been planning a surprise for you. It's I've been I've been trying so hard to keep this a secret from him, you guys. This is so frustrating. Okay, and what kind of surprise is this? Is it a surprise that you've used all of lube with a bunch of other dudes? Like is that the surprise? Like I don't understand. What's the surprise? Oh, yeah, that's that's the surprise. <laughs> no, I, I've been, I'm trying to tell you that I have been, <laughs> I want you to just stop accusing me of cheating all the time. I've been trying to plan a surprise for you. And so, so like, so what is this surprise then that you keep going on about? Like, what is the surprise? Uh, I wish you could be more patient about this kind of thing. It, it's, I've been planning this thing for the two of us, and uh, I just wish you would trust me more, because I promise you you're going to like it. Okay, if that's what you're saying, I don't know. Everything just, everything seems like a lot right now. Like, I don't know if you, if this is, if this is even the surprise. I don't know what to believe right now. It all seems weird to me, to be honest. But I'll try and just wait it out. Oh my God, you're lucky. I love you. I have never given you any reason to think that I was cheating on you. Uh, you're, you always do this, and I, I just, you're, so, you're just so lucky that I am tolerant of your behavior. Oh, no. <laughs> Not tolerant. <laughs> okay, fine. You want your surprise ruined? Here you go. I'm planning a trip for our anniversary. Aww. Are you happy? I'm planning on taking you to Cabo Ooh. for our anniversary. What? Wait, really? Yes, really. So I've been buying supplies from the store, making sure we're all stocked up, and we have everything that we need so you don't have to do anything. And I was going to surprise you literally by taking you to the airport and putting you on a plane. But I was texting uh, your friend because I know that he has all the great recommendations for Cabo, and... Everything is going to be lined up so I can get figure out all the things that you like to do while we're there. But you ruined the surprise. Oh my god! Wow! Oh my god! That's that's so sweet. Oh, now I I yeah. kind of feel like a. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how that works. Uh, and yes, it is very sweet. Thank you. Hopefully, next time you'll trust me when. I'm planning a surprise, okay? And now, since the surprise is ruined, this can just be a vacation where we go have these like we usually do. Oh, oh. Yep. send the invoice. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pat, I'm going to Cabo. You already paid for all of it. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least you know he's not cheating, and you guys are going to Cabo to have fun, so 
Sorry the surprise was ruined for you, Joe. And Durgan, I'm sorry you didn't get to surprise Joe the way you wanted to, but mm -hmm. hey, this is at least a special memory, maybe. Yeah, and you are going to have fun. <laughs> exactly. So fun. <laughs> Oh, don't worry. I saw some surprises in line for him. Oh, oh all right. right. <laughs> Good. Joe, don't ruin those surprises, okay? Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> the Jubal Show, Jubal on Show, on demand. It's another Jubal phone prank. Weekday mornings on the 20s. Hello? Hi, Kim. This is Pete Egan's calling from Stables. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Not too bad. Um, hey, you got a moment? When I need to talk to you about something. Um, yeah, is everything okay with Lester? Your horse, Lester, yeah. No, everything is really good with him, actually. <laughs> and I am calling, though, because I do need to tell you something that happened today that is quite exciting here over at the stable. Okay, what happened? Well... I mean, this doesn't happen every day. So, you know, sometimes people drop by the stables to look at the horses, and we actually had a celebrity drop by out of the blue. So cool. Oh, yeah? Yeah. One of the Kardashians. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kendall Jenner, actually. She's, I mean, Jenner, but Kardashian still. <laughs> and um, her sister, Kourtney Kardashian, was with her, too. So they dropped by the stable unannounced to check it out and ride some horses. I guess they're really into horses. Who knew? Isn't that exciting? We were all freaking out over here. I mean, I guess, yeah. uh, you know, who, who doesn't love horses? <laughs> right, and I had no idea. I was like, whoa, wait a second, what's that limousine doing here? And then I, I talked to Jill, I don't know if you know her or not, but she works at the stable, and she was like, that's Kendall Jenner and Kourtney Kardashian, and I was like, I almost went to the bathroom in my pants, I was so excited. So anyway, I was like, whoa, that's crazy, we don't get that kind of, we don't get those kind of people around here, and they just were, you know, hanging out, riding some horses, and talking to us, and taking pictures, it was great. So did you call me just to tell me that the Kardashians stopped by the stable, or is there something that you need to tell me about Lester? Oh, yeah. I mean Your horse, yeah. I'll get to the point. Yes, I'm so sorry about that. So, Kendall Jenner, you know who she is, right? Yeah, I know who she is. I mean, everyone does. Well, you know, she asked if she could ride a few horses, so of course we let her. It's Kendall Jenner. And she loved your horse, Lester. It's like she loved him. Wait, you let her ride my horse? I didn't approve that. Okay, well, yeah, I understand that, but it was, I mean, we figured it's a Kardashian. <laughs> it's a celebrity. We don't get that all the time. I figured you wouldn't mind. And also, the fact that she loved your horse is really, really, that's, I mean, you got some bragging rights now around the horse world. <laughs> so, was that it then? You were just calling to tell me that the Kardashians went by and Kendall Jenner rode my horse? That's it? Well, that's part of it. There is more to the story, and this part, I'm just going to have to ask you to be patient and um, and hear me out. Okay. So that sounds like something I should be worried about. Oh, yeah, no, not at all. I actually think it's really great news, and I think you're going to love it. So anyway, Kendall Jenner bought Lester. We, we sold What? It. What do you mean? He wasn't for sale. That's my horse. That's what we said. And then she made an offer we couldn't refuse. And we were like, hello, oh. major celebrity offering a ton of money. We'll, I mean, yeah. of course, Kim's going to be into that. No. Because you do get, you it's know, you know that money okay. does go. I'm sorry, what? This is not okay. It's not all right. He was not for sale. I, you just sold him without even asking me? I mean, who the f*** does that? You sold my f horse. Right, yes, but we sold it to a celebrity, and she gave us a Who cares? Run. I don't care who she is. It's mine. Get him back. Well, I, well, you haven't heard everything yet. That's why I should be patient. Um, We realized that maybe there could be potential with that you might not be as excited as we were to sell your horse to the Kardashians, but I wanted to say that we are going to make it better for you, and I... How are you going to do that? Well, we are obviously going to get you a new animal. I don't want another animal. I want my horse, Lester, back. What could possibly replace him? I love him. Yes, but Lester's a Kardashian now. I'm sorry. Lester is my horse. He's not a Kardashian, okay? If you don't get him back, I'll call the cop. Okay, well, don't do that. Then I'll just let you know it's a prank phone call. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, your horse is fine, chilling in the stable. He's not a Kardashian right now, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> this is actually Jubal from the Jubal Show doing a phone prank on oh, you. My... And your sister, Jenny, set you up. Ah. 
Oh my God, no way. I'm going to kill her. <laughs> Thank God my horse is not a Kardashian. <laughs> the Jubal Show on demand.